some gameplay coming into us, which we can go to right now. I think we're gonna get some Overwatch. All right, yeah, we're dropping in live with Colorado Mesa University and the Caddo Mustangs. Now, Colorado Mesa, I'm unfamiliar with, but Caddo Mustangs, I believe, are local. Which school is that? That's Caddo Magnet High. Caddo Magnet High. Let's see how these high. Now, Mesa University, I'm guessing that's a college? It looks like a college to me. It sounds like it. Well, let's see how these high schoolers fare up against uh, someone of a little bit more season. That's like right. So if you're unfamiliar with Overwatch, so it's an objective-based game. There's uh, points that you need to basically play King of the Hill on, and if you do it long enough, you capture the point, and then uh, the next point opens up and you progress to it. So you progress uh, through a map, and uh, since you're moving further into the map, uh, different strategies are involved um, depending on the environment. Right, and what you say now? There's there's character types in the game, correct, Matt? Yeah, that, that's right. So they they kind of follow the the trio of uh, tank, DPS, and support. Traditionally, you have a, a two of each, so it's a team of six, and so you would have two tanks, two DPS, and two support. And is there a leveling process to these characters, or do you start in fresh like in League of Legends? So there's there's no leveling. Um, you start. Um, so it's a it's a hero shooter. So you have access to abilities and uh, and your gun. So you shoot, go around shooting people and using your abilities, and and everything's unlocked from the get go. That's amazing. And this game seems to be very fast paced in regards it's to other shooters. It's extremely fast paced. Yeah, wow. it's, it's a shooter, and there's there's lots of moving around, lots of lots of jumping. Um, so, like, Colorado and Mesa right now are trying to uh, to defend uh, Objective B. Sorry about that. Yeah. So, it looks like, so far, Colorado Mesa has a one in the win column. And so, that means they've achieved one? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, they're up one map count. That's amazing. So, you go through uh, five maps, I believe. So, is each team taking a turn into there's an event, a defense, and a defense? Okay. That's the three, okay. That's fantastic. Yeah, so you take turns uh, attacking and defending. The map, uh, the map's level here, look, the detail looks fabulous from our end. Yeah, so right now they're trying to push in to capture this point. And it's, it's so fast paced. Sorry, I don't cast uh, Overwatch very much. But so we got uh, the red team trying to capture here, I believe. Yeah, so it's contested. They're both fi fighting over this point. Got a 10 player kill streak coming out. Wow. So it appeared at this point that Colorado Mesa is coming in with the advantage. Yeah, that's what it looks like. Well, Kata Mustangs are up one, I believe. So how many objectives are on the map? So there's going to be two objectives on this map, and it will vary from map to map, I believe. And it just, does the team pick? Do they vote on the map that they play on? No, it's usually a set playlist. Okay. Because I would imagine that the different maps cater to a different team play style. Yeah, d for sure. And depending on if you're attacking or defending, you'll you'll change your, your heroes. Um, based off of that. Yeah, there's a lot happening, but uh, again, I'm I'm not too familiar with uh, with Overwatch. Rocket League and League of Legends are my are my jam. Which is not to say that Overwatch is any less fun. This is true. Uh, but uh, it's it's kind of hard if you want to really start getting into the deep minutia of the games you got to start picking what ones you're gonna put your tags on right yeah, that's right so looks like we got some action coming up here so the tank is, is moving in there with the with the shield trying to you know you want to take up space and have everyone kind of focus on you the tanks gonna be the front line correct yeah the tank will be the front line now uh, also can the other are the are the characters in the game are they allowed to pick the same characters? So could you, in theory, have a whole team of six against the whole team of six with the same characters? Yeah, that is correct. So wow. they have a champion pool that they can pull out of. And they can, so you could literally have this going against the same champions that your team is playing. Yeah, that is correct. Wow. But again, so some champions are, are better 
uh, on offense, and some champions are better on defense. So is it sort of is there like a rock paper scissors type of logic for this? Yeah, definitely. Um, yeah. So if you pick the right amount of uh, rocks versus uh, scissors, then generally your your champions will will have an an advantage over the other team. Um, but again, it is a shooter, so skill um, does come to a, a, a large effect of the game. If you're able to click on heads better than the other person, generally you're going to win. <laughs> it's all about Yeah, that sounds great. Oh, that'd be wonderful. Hello, Hello. everyone. Hello. Hey, Paul. So, hey, Jared. Overwatch is doing? A, doing super well. How are you doing today? Fantastic. We're doing awesome. We got some canes here today, so we're, we are staying hydrated with canes. Definitely not a product of envy at all. I'm not super jealous whatsoever, <laughs> I promise. <laughs> Uh, I appreciate y'all coming in here. Like I said in the beginning, uh, Overwatch is not my strong suit, so it's nice to have some uh, some actual experts come in here and probably give you better commentary than I can provide. Yeah, so tell us tell us a little bit about the structure of the game. You know, what are we talking about realistically? You know, is, is how long was this game in theory take based on what the map we're looking at right now? So right now we're playing on Volskaya uh, in the mode of assault which is basically a two or sorry we're in mode of two c two control point your goal is to storm in take this first point and then take the second as well that will conclude a round but what has happened here is that colorado Mesa university has managed to hold off kind of mustangs from taking the second point so they'll be able to if they can deny them right here at this first one the game will simply end in colorado Mesa university's favor if colorado Mesa university takes this first point and doesn't take the second will go to an overtime. So this is a do or die for the Caddo Mustangs, is that correct? Uh, with, with it being, uh, yeah, with it being a best of three, you're right on the money. If uh, if Colorado Mesa University can close this one out, then that will give them the 2-0 lead, which will give them the series, absolutely. And you guys were touching uh, on base. Great observation for, um, you know, picking the right characters. And uh, the... A uh, euphemism of rock, you know, rock, paper, scissors is pretty true in this game with a little bit of variation. Uh, there are some heroes that do splendidly well against other ones. Um, as far as what we can see for both of these comps, it's uh, a pretty even spread. Uh, this guy that we're seeing right now, Winston, is a, a tank. He's able to dive into the back line and try and get those squishier targets out of position. Taking care of a lot of the damage will be stunned up. A lot of damage being given over to him. Healing will come through though, and that shield being dropped expertly well. That is why he's one of the premier dive tanks, is what they're referred to in this game. But uh, despite their best efforts, Colorado Mesa is still stuck on the other side of this archway. Means that Cato Mustangs are doing a great job defending so far. Yeah, uh, so this is a choke point out. right here that Cato is, is trying to defend. If uh, Colorado can push through that choke point, uh, it opens up a little bit and allows uh, for some flanking. Um, but Cato definitely wants to hold him here at this choke. What you're also seeing is a little bit of rock, paper, scissors, but in this case, the rock, or sorry, the scissors is being used as a rock. The Winston is currently playing, not in really the optimal way you want to play a dive tank. Normally, you want to push in quickly and get onto the back line, but he's kind of just hitting this Reinhardt in the face, which isn't his optimal target. One, because Reinhardt has a lot of armor and his weapon does not do well into armor. But uh, two, because you could just swap out the Winston right now for another Reinhardt and you'd be in a much better place. But right now the push is coming on through Colorado Mesa University, oh, already picking up three. They're gonna continue to push on forward into the back of this point and then the hold has to happen, but no one's going down. Five members fall now, the Diva's out, Diva's down. And this point will be given on over and now it's gonna be on Colorado Mesa University to take one tick of this next point. Yeah, and, and another really huge contribution to the formula for success are these percentages that we see ticking next to these uh, portrait icons for some of these characters. We see some of them at 90%, you know, 14%, but that check mark means that their ultimates, these crucial team fight defining abilities, are available for use. And as we see, both teams have two on board. There comes one, the Deadeye, in addition to the Nano Boost, will be enough to get the damage down. The Shatter will come down though, and the damage in the slide falls. Forward from Cattle Mustangs will send scurrying away Colorado Mesa University and a great attempt on attack, but will be instantly turned away. Great play from Cattle Mustangs. Absolutely. Clicking on heads is a big portion of Overwatch, like you guys mentioned. 
But another big portion of Overwatch is a little bit of a numbers game of how many ults do we have, how many ults does the enemy have, and then how can we utilize our ultimates to use less of ours to take down multiple of theirs. Shatter right there, countering mm. perfectly the Deadeye Nano Boost combo was a great usage of a two for one trade in favor of that Reinhardt. Yeah, traditionally, you, you, you definitely want to have more ultimates available than the, the enemy team. Yeah, it's, it's about the ultimate usage, ult economy, and how you are able to use that in tandem. Those rock, paper, scissors matchups can be huge. Catamaran Mustangs, despite their amplification matrix and the bashing combo, will be sent down, and the health bars are ticking dangerously low. Members from the side of Cattle Mustangs are being swept off this final point, and just the one tick will be secured. Colorado Mesa University will actually come through and sweep up the series and the map. Wow, that was fast. You know, best of three, two maps going down to the side of Colorado Mesa. That means they win. That is a big W for them. And Cattle Mustangs, despite their best effort, will be continuing on this tournament, but with a, uh, a number one in the L column for them. All right. Yeah, so they were able to break through that choke. And once that choke uh, fell, uh, Kato fell pretty quickly after that. Well, well, thanks, Jared and Paul, for the very important <laughs> for, for the save. Fast paced commentary there. <laughs>